Hey guys, what's up? Got a new toy came in. Not the tablet, not that tablet, but... So, um, it's actually, uh, it's going to be going in my car, but uh, if you can see that, you might already guess what it is. That's the docking station. Alright, let's open this up. I got it on eBay for about uh, $99, and let's open this up. Alright, All right, let's see if I can get this going with the camera on it. Get my knife in there. What's going on? Surprise, surprise. What do we got? Alright. This came from Canada, so it took about a little bit of a little time to get here. Let's see if I can rip this box open. I don't know. What did I get? I don't have my kid today to help me. He's at school right now, but... Oh, double box. What is this thing? I think there'd be an easy way just to... Is there like a... Here we go. I think there should be like a pull tab or something here. All right, what is this thing? All right, there it is. Never seen one of these before in person. It's uh, an ultra rugged tablet. Uh, the difference is that that's a, that's a, my Dell Venue is a, an Intel Atom running Windows 10, and this is a, looks like it's a smaller screen. This is an Explorer uh, ultra rugged tablet, and it's a Core i7 with uh, right now it should have four gig of RAM and 80 gig SSD, and uh, there should be no OS installed, but. Um, this thing is like this, like one of the most rugged tablets you can possibly buy, and it comes with the pen, but also it's a touch screen too. I guess I'm not sure if they call it capacitive discharge or what it's called, but um, fan. This is actually going to be going in my car. I'm going to probably permanently have this in my car, and that's. I'll show you that. You know, once it's mounted, but that's the that's the dock right there. Um, a car dock, a permanent car dock. And I might get a different one just because that one's kind of big for the Bronco. But I wanted a permanent computer that actually has a, a, a built in GPS. And very few Windows laptops or tablets have actually a GPS antenna built into it. And this is one of them. And I, I think it's one of these little models on top here. But I'll find out because I, that's, I've never even played this thing. Never looked at it. Don't even know if it works. Well, the guy said it worked. The guy actually on the screen had it booted up at least into the BIOS screen, so I'm going to have to re reinstall the OS. Don't know if this has a Windows 7 certificate. 130. So I'm going to copy my... Uh, I'm probably going to first load Windows 7 on there. And then I'm going to go back and... Uh, uh, go back and upgrade to Windows 10, that way I get a Windows 10 license for free. Even though it's, oh, you can see the, there we go. That's cool, you get to push it in there, but. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna start playing with this. I'm gonna get the OS on there. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna put Windows 7 on there, activate it, and then I'm gonna go back and put an upgrade to Windows 10. And what that does is it gives me a, a free Windows 10 license. Then I'm gonna go back and, and just totally re install from scratch with Windows 10, because I don't ever wanna, copy or move any settings from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So what I do is I install Windows 7, activate it, upgrade to Windows 10, then it automatically activates my Windows 10 license. And then I go back and I install a fresh copy of Windows 10, erase, format, everything. And then, because I, I, I'm not sure how Microsoft does it, but I'm sure they're tying in the license key to the MAC address of the network interface card. So, all right. Yeah, this is not going to be as quiet, but obviously it has a cooling fan, and it's i7, but look at that. Carry handle. Cool. I guess we'll see how it goes. All right. So $99 on eBay. So. All right, guys. So um, it does actually have a Windows 7 key code on there, the uh, activation sticker. And I don't really care because by the time you see this video, I'm already going to have Windows 10 on it. So. Feel free to use the key. I don't, it's Windows 7, but, and then micro SD slot. 
Like I said, I'm never going to be running Windows 7 on this thing, I don't think. But you never knew. And actually, I don't know, I do actually have, I'm, I mean, I work in IT, and I'm, I program like Cisco routers and firewalls and networking gear all day long. So I was thinking I might get one of these tablets, another one for my, my work bag, you know, the one that I, I go on site with. Because right now I'm running a Core i5 like Sony laptop, but what I thought was interesting about this tablet and it's like virtually you don't ever see this anymore on, on, I don't even know how to do that, but assuming this will pop, there we go, the USB on that side, is that, shit, if I can get this going with one hand, dude, okay, well, uh, I'll come back for that, but this actually should have a, uh, a nine pin uh, serial port in there, so it's like, they actually purposely do that for people working in the field because, you know, Cisco routers, you know, it's, you know, if you want to program a Cisco router switch, you know, at least console into it, you know, you need a USB converter to serial. So, yeah, Cisco devices still use serial. So, um, micro SD, that's a massive slot for a micro SD card. So, I'm pretty excited. I mean, it is pretty bulky, you know, it's definitely not. Like, you know, I guess the, the reason why I have this other tablet here is so you can compare the size. This is a Venue 11. So the screen should be a little bit bigger than 10 inches. They call it a Venue 11, but it's like 10.6 inches. And uh, fingerprint reader on there. All right, well, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna have some fun. All right. Okay, guys, what's up? Um. So, yeah, it didn't come with an AC adapter, but I have a lot of extra uh, AC adapters for, like, laptops and stuff. I'd, usually when I uh, get them, I usually keep them, so I have a box full of AC adapters. So, this is the uh, first Fire app here. Let's see. What's up? Explore Technologies. All right. What's it doing? I don't think it's going to... I don't think it has an OS, so it looks like a demo OS. So there was some kind of DOS they put on the hard drive or some kind of data erasing utility there. But, all right, so I'm going to load Windows 7 on there, get that started, see what happens from a uh, USB. So, actually, I might, how the hell would I, yeah, I might have to hook up a keyboard and mouse to this, possibly. Just because, how am I going to? I need a way to do key a key commands. I need to go to the BIOS and tell the boot order, tell it to boot from a USB drive. So I think I will be hooking up my. Uh, I have like a little uh, keyboard with a little touchpad and a thing there. So uh, let me get Windows 7 on a USB drive and I'll be back. Get this thing going. So I have my little USB keyboard in there and a little wireless dongle and a flash drive and get this thing going. See what happens. Need all this stuff. All right, do the installation. See what happens. All right, guys, got this Windows Seven installed. Um, since I don't have any drivers, I mean, there's a couple different ways I could do this. I could get like a download the drivers, but since I already know that, um, you guys can see that, but. Um, it's, uh, yeah, that kind of freaks out my camera there. This is like, I always keep this because I know Windows 7 actually has the drivers built in for this thing. It's a wireless dongle. So instead of trying to bother trying to find the drivers on Explorer's website, I'm going to get myself connected this way. And, yeah, that's why I keep that device is that I know it's one of my few, few wireless dongles that actually has the driver built into Windows 7. And that's it. Connected, activated, and um, now that I'll be able to go online, I'm going to upgrade to Windows 10. I'm going to use our Windows Update tool. All right. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, I actually got an Ampram upgrade for this thing over at Micro Center. 60 bucks for 8 gig of DDR3, and that's supposedly the max that supports is 8 gig. It's under the uh, battery compartment, and it's in the, uh, there's like a little cover there, so just going to remove that thing. Looks like that's a four gig. Sorry. 
All right, cool. So I'm going to use a Crucial Micron, 60 bucks, Micro Center. And uh, get it going. Cool. Update here. Just uh, downloading the uh, Windows 10 uh, upgrade from Windows 7. <coughs> yeah, it's called the Media Creation Tool, if you're wondering what tool it is. And the reason why I do this is because I, I just activated Windows 7. And what this does is just gonna it's gonna it's gonna activate the network interface or the MAC address, and uh, it's gonna permanently activate this computer for Windows 10. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go back and do another fresh clean install of Windows 10, and just blow out the hard drive, because I don't want any sort of like Windows settings coming over at all, just a clean install. So, all right.